Hey guys, what's up? It's been quite a while since we covered a topic about Middle Earth and there is quite a long list of videos that we want to make for you guys and if there are topics that you think are unique and you want us to make then do put them down in the comments section below. Also subscribe and hit the notification bell for regular updates. So today we will be doing a topic on the 30 animals found in Middle Earth. We will be including the normal animals that are also found in the real world and also the fictional creatures that are only found in Middle Earth and Arda as a whole. We won't be including Maya spirits such as Balrogs and wizards nor are we going to put in the different sentient races like elves, men, dwarves and orcs. So anyway, here is the list of animals found in Middle Earth. Number 1. Badgers Badgers were mammals that dwelt in Middle Earth. They were known in the north as being excellent hole diggers. A mysterious supposedly legendary race of badgers, the Badger Folk, are mentioned in the Hobbit verse in the Adventures of Tom Bombadil. The poem describes Tom being captured by their leader named Badger Brock and subsequently being released after frightening them with one of his magical chants. Number 2. Bats Bats were large flying creatures that roamed in the forests of Middle Earth. Most bats were part of the forest ecosystem, however, some bats were bred from darkness and variants of vampires and were known for their service to the forces of darkness. Bats sided with the orcs and walks in the Battle of the Five Armies, during which they flew so thickly across the sky that the sunlight was blotted out. Number 3. Bears Bears were native to the wilderland between the Misty Mountains and Mirkwood, where they thrived by hunting. However, they were not carnivores as was demonstrated by their love of honey. As the bees of the Willowland were at least twice as big as average bees, the bears were bound to have tough leathery skin either as a natural attribute or from adaptation to bee stings. Number 4. Hawks Hawks were large birds that roamed Middle Earth. As the Fellowship of the Ring was being spied upon by the Crubane, a lone hawk was also thought as being a watcher of the enemy, meaning that Saruman may have used hawks as spies as well. Number 5. The Great Eagles The Great Eagles were the messengers and spies of the King of Arda and possessed the ability to see through all physical matter except for the blackness of Morgoth's evil pits. In Peter Jackson's film trilogies, those of The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings, the eagles are smaller than they are in the book. However, they have been noted to be around 6 meters or 20 feet tall with a wingspan of no more than 23 meters or 75 feet. Number 6. Thrush a thrush is a slender, small to medium-sized bird known for its harmonious song. The thrush is said to have belonged to an ancient breed known by Thorin's ancestors. The men of Dale were able to understand the language of the bird and they served the men as messengers. A thrush appears at the end of the film, The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey, flying towards a lonely mountain. It begins tapping a snail shell against the side of the mountain, causing smog to awaken. Number 7. Ravens Ravens were large black birds of Middle Earth, sometimes associated with the ill news of death and were known for their harsh voices. The ravens of Erebor often brought secret news to the people of Thror, the king under the mountain, and in return they were rewarded with bright objects to hide in their dwelling dotted around Dale at Ravenhill. Ravens could evidently live to a great age with 153 years being the oldest recorded. Number 8. The Crubane the Crubane were a species of large black crow-like birds native to both Dunlan and Fangorn forests in Middle-earth that Saruman the White in Isengard uses as spies after he joined forces with Sauron. Crubane were known to fly in large flocks resembling a huge black cloud and a big shadow cast below them. They made a horrible croaking, squawking noise when in flight which makes their presence known to all near them. Number 9. The Kirinki the Kirinki was a small bird native to Numenor. The Kirinki were no bigger than wrens. They were scarlet colored and with high piping voices that men could barely hear. It is unknown what happened to them when the island was lost and they were thought to have gone extinct with Numenor. Number 10. Swans of Ulmo The swans of Ulmo were waterfowl of either black or white color, though usually the latter. It is said that the swans were especially abundant in the Nen in Ablip, the swan fleet, a wetland region in Eriador. The swan was an important bird in the tales of the Ella days. The Meyer also sent many strong winged swans to draw the ships of the Teleri over Belagir to Amman without the help of the winds. Number 11. The Nightingales 
The nightingales were small brown birds of thrush kind, famous for their clear singing and for the fact that they would sing at night as well as during the day. The Maya Melian was said to always have nightingales about her, and they taught them their songs. It was the song of these birds that enchanted Elwe, Lord of the Tellery, when he was wandering alone in Nan Elmuth after he came upon Melian. Number 12. Foxes Foxes were four-legged wild canines that lived near the woods and wilds surrounding the outskirts of the Shire. They were not known to be menacing and probably avoided men and hobbits. The most famous of the mentioned foxes were when they appeared and approached a company of hobbits as they slept in the woods after they left the Shire. Number 13. Deers Deers were four-legged beasts that inhabited Middle-earth, mentioned in the Hobbit and Lord of the Rings. Deers were hunted for food by the peoples of Middle-earth, save for the Burnings, who did not eat meat. Deer came in different coats, including red and white. The deers were common beasts of burden for the elves. Thranduil also rode on top of a great stag, which kind of looked like an Irish elk. Number 14. Rabbits Rabbits, also known as hares or conies by hobbits, were small fat animals which lived all over Middle-earth. Rabbits were hunted for food by the peoples of Middle-earth, usually when traveling and not as butcher scots. In Peter Jackson's movie The Two Towers, a brace of rabbits were caught by Gollum just before a force of Haradrim walked through the land with an olifant. Number 15. Horses Horses were primary walking and fighting animals in Middle-earth. They were generally used as mounts both forces of good and forces of evil used them in the wars and battles of Middle-earth. In the Third Age, riders of Rohan and the Nine Nazgul were the most well-known for riding horses. Small horses were called ponies. Horses came in many colors such as white, gray, brown, and black. Number 16. Cats Cats were small four-legged animals that lived in Arda. They were often used as companions and pets by the hobbits and the Bree folk. As were their keen-sighted and agile, some cats were used for hunting and spying. The cats of Beruthriel are a unique type of cats, and during the Third Age, the Queen of Gondor kept nine black cats and one white cat, and the black cats spied on the men of Gondor. Number 17. Dogs Dogs were four-legged bees, which were usually domesticated in Middle-earth. They were closely related to wolves and werewolves. During the Third Age, Bjorn had several dogs who could walk on their hind legs and carry things with their forelegs. They could settle the table and were capable of speech. Farmer Maggot kept three dogs, Grip, Fang and Wolf to guard his farm. Number 18. Fish Fish were common throughout the bodies of water in Arda. Fish were animals of rivers, springs, lakes and the Great Sea. They were often hunted for food and in the case of Gollum, they were eaten raw. As opposed to Gollum who ate the raw fish, hobbits, specifically Samwise Gamgee, preferred cooked fish. There were innumerable species of fishes in Arda. 19. Bows Bows were wild pigs that roamed Middle-earth. They had great tusks and they would use for a weapon. The most famous boar in Middle-earth was the great boar of Evelhot, living in the Firin Wood. He was hunted by Falka, the king of Rohan, who eventually killed him but was mortally wounded by the great beast himself. In Peter Jackson's The Hobbit film trilogy, Dane II Ironfoot arrived in the prelude of the Battle of the Five Armies astride a large boar. Number 20. Wolves Wolves were four-legged carnivorous canines who lived in Arda during the First Age. There were many subspecies of Middle-earth. Apart from the original grey wolves, these groups included the white wolves, dogs, werewolves and walks. Wolves, like many other animals in Arda, had nothing to do with naturally the forces of darkness but serve in varying points throughout the ages. Number 21. Giant Spiders Giant spiders, also known as the children of Ungolian, live particularly in dark and perilous places in Middle-earth. Those who spoke were vicious and malevolent creatures and their presence was typically seen as blight. They lived in the south of Middle-earth in the First Age, having descended from the spider creature of the Erit Gororoth. But by the Third Age, they spread to other areas far away. Number 22. The Kind of Arrow The Kind of Arrow were legendary cattle-like creatures that lived around the fertile plains of the Sea of Rune from the earliest days of Arda onwards. The Kind of Arrow were descended from the even greater kind cattle of Orome the Hunter, who was known to be the master of beasts and birds. As Orome was chosen to lead the elves on the great journey, he might have intentionally left his livestock in the east. Number 23. The Miras. The Miras were a breed of wild horses in the north of Middle-earth. 
They surpassed normal horses in their intelligence, speed, and strength. According to law, the ancestors of the Meras were brought from the West by Orome. During the Third Age, Gandalf was given consent to write Shadowfax, the Lord of the Meras. Shadowfax continued to accompany Gandalf throughout the latter half of the War of the Ring. Number 24. The Mumakil The Mumakil were large creatures resembling elephants, often used in battle by the Haradrim. Mumakils have an appearance akin to that of an elephant, sporting thick, arrow-resistant skin and four curled tusks, plus two smaller tusks behind the larger pair. The Mumakil's most defining feature is undoubtedly their vast size, allowing the armies of Mordor to erect war towers on their backs. Mumakils are roughly eight times larger than a real world elephant. Number 25. The Fell Bees The Fell Bees were described as large winged creatures without feathers that had pinions in between their horned fingers and whose bodies gave off a stench. It is possible that the Fell Bees came in from an older world. The Dark Lord Sauron bred these Fell Bees and gave them to his servants. There is a common misconception that these creatures are called Nazgul, probably due to the fact that the unit in many other video games were named as such. Number 26. Walks Walks were a breed of wolves in Middle-earth who lived in the Misty Mountains and were captured and used specifically by the Orcs of Isengard and Mordor in the Third Age. Though Walks were not specifically evil themselves, they were known to be exclusively used alongside by goblins sometimes as their steeds. They appear first in The Hobbit attacking Thorin and company as they traveled east from the Misty Mountains. Number 27. The Drakes of Mordor The Drakes of Mordor are a breed created by Sauron and they are infertile dragon felbeast crosses hybridized by the Dark Lord in the pits of Baradur. Notable characteristics of drakes include spiky protrusions on the lower jaw, back and belly, and on the tip of their tails. Additionally, there is a skull-like bony crest covering the upper jaw and face with small, rather blank-looking eyes. Drakes do not have vivid horns on their heads as dragons do, but they have large jaws resembling those of crocodiles. Number 28. Dragons the dragons were long-lived, powerful, cunning, possessed of subtle intelligence and had great physical strength and were covered in nearly impenetrable scales everywhere except their undersides. They also possessed an overwhelming greed for treasure, especially gold, and were well known for sleeping on piles of stolen treasure. By their very nature, they relished not only the theft of beautiful things, but the act of dispossession itself. Number 29. Weirworms the Weirworms were creatures of an unknown kind, possibly mythical and presumably related to dragons, that were said to dwell in the last desert. The Weirworms were only mentioned once, so almost nothing is known about them until they were seen in the third part of the Hobbit trilogy. The Hobbits had a rich folklore about full of fantastic creatures and Weirworms quite possibly fall into that category. Number 30. The Uwin The Uwin was a great whale that served Ulmo being entitled as the primeval whale or Gulma's great whale, with Gulma being an earlier name for Ulmo or the oldest of the right whales. Uwin was the oldest and mightiest of all whales. Uwin has a titanic strength as his large tail lash was described to be unmeasured to cause the sea to wrath alongside with Ulmo's trumpet. Well that brings us to the end of the video so do subscribe for more related content on creatures and monsters.